So we've created reports and forms for some of the key functions. There might be other things that you want to create forms for, such as adding a new book, but that will basically be the same as the form for adding a new library member. I've been back and I've tidied up my forms, and what I've also done is I've made them modal. That's quite a good way to ensure that users don't open too many forms at the same time and get confused about the order in which they enter information. Um, so I've done that there. I quite like uh, pop-up forms as well, but that seems to be a little bit old-fashioned these days as the default is to be no for that. So when our library staff open the database, what we don't want is for them to have to write, find the right forms from the list on the left-hand side. So the next stage might be to create a form that we can use as a main menu and then set up some of the startup options. So I'm going to close that form there and we're going to look at creating a main menu. A main menu is basically a form or it can be a form um, but it doesn't need to show any data so it's just an unbound form not linked to the database so I've clicked the new form button, I've created a new form and um, the first thing I might want to do is to give it a colour so try and make it consistent um, th with the other forms that I've used I'm going to give it um, uh, a header and a footer to the same end so throughout the uh, system I've used the form header for the headings so I'm going to give it a label obviously the uh, a real library uh, will have an, a real name which you could put on there so I'm just going to call it the library and I'm going to make that a bit bigger. So I'm going to format that and um, let's make it aerial, make it big. Uh, it's the main menu after all, make it blue, for example. So it's not particularly friendly the way it resizes the, um, the text box there, so it's not Word. And then I'm also going to use the footer for my button as I've done on the other forms so this button's going to do something slightly different so I'm going to give it a different description so I'm going to put my button on the um, buttons that close the form on other forms uh, we call close because they close the form and return to the main menu this button is doing something different we're going to get it to actually close the whole database so it's an application function and we're going to quit the application and for that reason I'm going to give it a different name so I said in one of the other videos, it's a good idea to you know, think about uh, consistency and conventions before you start creating the layout. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to underline the X, because X sounds more like exit than the E does. So that's uh, fine. And then I'm going to call it uh, button exit. So I've added some features, heading and a button to make it consistent uh, with the other forms. What I want to do now is actually add some buttons to open those other forms and that's quite straightforward. They would just use an ordinary button and we draw a button on and um, we get it to open the form. So the forms we've got are new member, um, new loan and form return. We might also want a button to open the report that shows us which people are or which books are overdue. So we'll start with the form one. So form operation, uh, open the form and we'll start with new member because obviously you can't borrow a book unless you a member of the library so click next and um, that's fine open the form and show all the records well we've um, set it to new record haven't we so it's open bl blank but that, that's that's fine um, and then what title do we want okay so I'm going to call it new um, be because there's new loans and new members I'm not going to underline the N I'm going to underline the M so new member so remember the underlying character can be used to operate the button with a keyboard, so Alt-M. Um, so I'm going to call it button uh, member. And then let's add another button for the new loan. So uh, form operation, open the form, new loan. And we'll call it uh, new, oops, nope, <laughs> new loan. And then we'll call it uh, button loan, for example. So obviously in a full system, you might have more um, buttons than this. You might also have submenus. So you might have um, you know, an overdue menu, which prints the letters and prints the list, etc. Um, so we'll have return a book as well. So that's another form. So that's return. And we'll call that. We can go for the R, return a book. And we'll call that button 
a return. So remember, the names only need to be unique within the form, so it doesn't matter if you've got a return button uh, elsewhere. And then we'll have one more button uh, which just um, opens the report. So we'll go for report operation. And we could get it to print, but we'll, we'll just have a look at it. And we've only got one, so that's easy. And then we'll call that overdue books. And next, so we'll call that button overdue. So next, then, we'll tidy those buttons up a little bit. So we can choose a font. So we need to get one button right. So I'm going to use Arial to be consistent with the heading. And I'm going to make that a bit bigger because we've got plenty of room there. And let's make it bold, etc. So there you go, that looks about right. So we can copy the text format using the Format Painter button. That works in the same way as it does in Word. So you choose the one you want to copy, click the paintbrush, click on the other one. Now, unfortunately, what it doesn't do is copy the size for some reason. So, but we can copy the text uh, properties and then we can highlight the three buttons and we can say uh, align left and then we can go to size and we can say to widest and then we can go uh, size uh, to tallest that will make them all the same size and then you, you might be able to go for some of the align options uh, sorry not align uh, layout options so you could go for maybe stacked um, so that hasn't quite worked because you've got this uh, label on the left here so I'm going to undo that and there may be other options that do it for you depending on your particular layout but I'm just going to shuffle these up a bit um, manually so I suppose I probably should have done that before I aligned them so let's just try that again align left okay so resize that and let's have a look what that does so let's go to the view and new member opens a new form notice I can't go back to the menu I have to cancel this form so it's a slightly different color shade of gray there so I do need to tweak that and I forgot to tweak my labels as well so that would be something I can do later on um, what I've also got I haven't turned off my record selectors and my navigation uh, buttons. Um, so even though this form is unbound, I've still got those on there. So if I go to my design view uh, on format section, um, navigation buttons, record selectors. So now they've gone. So just try a different button. Yep, so that's all okay, isn't it? Um, so that's fine. So we'll, call, we'll save that and we'll give it a name. So let's call it uh, FRM main menu so that's made it a bit easier for the uh, library staff to navigate the system however it still won't open automatically so what we can do in our access options so uh, is we can choose in the current database section uh, well we can choose the title so let's call it the library and let's choose a form so display form means which form do we open automatically by default as the file opens so let's open the main menu and click on OK it's saying I need to close and reopen uh, for that to take effect so I'm gonna say OK I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna reopen it so notice now that my form has opened automatically um, you might see this um, warning here, so I'll show you how to get rid of that as well. So that's uh, to do, do this thing called the Trust Center. So you can enable that um, content, and that you'll, but you'll have to do that every time. So if you open the Trust Center, what you can do is you can say um, files in this particular folder, in this particular location, location are OK. So I'm going to add a trusted location, um, which is uh, where these files are stored. So they're stored on my desktop. In the databases folder so let's just um, add that as a trusted location and then we'll just enable that for this time okay so hopefully i shouldn't get the warning next time in fact let's have a look at that just to make sure there you go no warning uh, the other things that you can do in the access options are um, on, for the current database you can get it to compact on close so if you're doing a lot of um, 
record deletion, for example, that's quite useful. Keeps the size of the database down and keeps it uh, healthy. Um, you can add an application icon, so you can add a picture. Um, we've displayed the form. What you can also do is, if you don't want all the, the buttons around the edge, you can turn all that stuff off. So we can say, don't display the status bar. Um, we can say, don't allow uh, different layouts. And don't allow design changes. Uh, don't display the navigation pane. And then we can also turn off things like uh, the menus. So we don't say, let's say, don't allow the menus. And there's various other options. Um, you can apply as well. So let's click OK. And again, it's saying I need to restart before that takes effect. So I'm going to say OK. Let's close that now and see what happens. So if I open the library now, I don't get that stuff down the side. Um, I just get my form. You might want to tinker with some of the other options, see what happens there. If I do want to get back and edit that form, for example, because if I click Exit now to close that form, it doesn't take me back to the navigation um, uh, section at the side. If I hold down the shift key, which obviously you can't see, but I'm holding down the shift key now and open the library, I do get that back if it does it. There we go. So I was holding down the shift key there, not quite sure why double clicking didn't open it, but uh, there you go. So holding down the shift key uh, returns it to showing the um, tables and forms down the side and not showing the form by default. Although, if we go to access options and look in the current database, those settings are retained. It just doesn't apply them if you hold down the shift key as you open the database. Okay, so this is the final video in the library. We've created the tables and the structure and the relationship. We've created forms and reports to present the information nicely. And we've added a main menu to tie everything together.